All right, guys, this is Jernigan here. A lot of people have a fascination of time machines. If I had a time machine, I could go back into my own brain in my head and sort all these wires out. And I could show people that the illness is in the brain. A lot of us have got the illness in the brain. Some of us probably can't see the illness inside our brain. But the thing is, there's no such thing as time machines. But like I say, I'd show people the real reason. There's, some people think just because people have got problems and illnesses in their brain, they're doing it on purpose. They don't. There's a problem there, and I don't know what it is, that uh, hurts a lot of people mentally. You've got an itchy bloody ear hole. It keeps bloody itching, bloody waxing it again. But anyway, me thinking about having wax in my ear hole, trying to explain something to somebody they don't seem to really understand and know because they're not in your brain, they're not in your body. You try and understand to somebody, they have a rough idea. It's like these psychologists, they think they know what you're thinking, but they don't. There was a film called Blade on the TV, it's a vampire film, and there was a girl, a little girl there on the film, and Blade was injecting himself, he's a vampire obviously, in his, in his chest here, he was injecting something in his chest there, and the girl, little girl said to him, why are you injecting yourself with that stuff inside your body? He says, it makes me feel well, it makes me feel better. If I don't do it, I go ill. I'm trying to control my illness. This is what's going inside my brain and a lot of other people's brains. I know it's a film, and some of them think it's a laugh and then joke about it. Some people in real life have an injections in their arms to keep them well. Some people take tablets. But the thing is, with all these tablets, how do you know which tablet's going to work for you? What if it has side effects, it stops you from going to the bathroom? which is going to be, be annoying or whatever else. I just wish people would actually understand one another, talk to one another, communicate one, with one another in the world, but which they don't. Some people do, some people don't have time to. They don't have the staff, they don't have the resources to speak to people and understand what they are. Some people think people are making excuses just because they don't... I, I've got... I'll tell, tell you my story. Yeah. My granddad wants me to see my sisters and my nieces... And, um, you know, her boyfriend. What happened a long time ago, I didn't do anything wrong. Because my sister wasn't very well a long time ago. And my sister's boyfriend wasn't very well. And this, and my sister's boyfriend grabbed me by the, the uh, jumper for no reason a long time ago. Just because he wasn't feeling well himself. Uh, I tried to talk to him as a friend. And I tried to speak to my sister as she was a long time ago some people say that was in the past and this is the future now move on and uh, give them a second chance but in my brain is telling me why should i trust them again why should i not trust them again sometimes you trust people sometimes you forgive people sometimes you move on and give them a second chance that's the issue here how do you know if they're not putting it on or saying that they want to see me or it's just an, all a big a big act and then as soon as the doors close happens again that's the thing i'm having in my brain and what's going on i'm sure i'm not a person that's been going through the same things there's probably other people that have had the same problem that's what the problem is and uh it's like i'm two different people this in my brain and the person i'm speaking now and the person in my brain is not me i tried to explain it to my granddad and he was like saying you always my granddad was saying to me you're always going to say no and not yes. Well, if I would say yes, it would be good. But because of this in my brain, what's going on here, it's making it a bit difficult for me. And I shouldn't be really be explaining this to people. Some people find it hard to explain what problems they've got in their own brain. Especially me, as a person, as a human being. And some people probably uh, thrill of people having problems and laugh about it. I mean, I don't laugh because I, I know... There's a problem in my brain. If I could re rewire my brain properly like a vehicle or a car and put them parts back in the same places, then it'd be good. It's like the brain's mixed up and all the wires that come out the head. I know it sounds a bit strange, but uh, the, the wiring of your brain is all wrong. If you can get it sorted, it'd be great. That's why people take tablets and take medication and drink beer. I drink beer to cope because this is what I do to make me relax. I like to be involved in everything i like to mix with people sometimes i like to be left alone and some people make silly noises because they don't feel very well in the brain 
and other people might probably may think, well, oh, why is he doing that noise? Is it uh, deliberately doing that noise to annoy me? Is it aimed at me? It's not aimed at you. It's just people cope in different ways. This is why I want to do this video and explain to people why I feel the way I feel. I'm not hiding anything. I'm not breaking any laws. I'm not running away from the truth. I'm facing the truth. I'm telling you the facts. I'm speaking to you and explaining to you all. This is how I feel as a person. And some people don't, probably don't care what other people think. But if I'm explaining it in a way that people understand, then they might think, ah, oh, you know, we all think differently. No one's ever going to think the same. That's what's hard about this world sometimes. Choices, sacrifices, how to get on in the world, how to make people happy. You try and make people happy, they put you down in the world. There's not en enough you can make people happy. You can just keep trying and trying and trying and then never change. You know, that's why you find very good friends that actually listen to you, understand you, for who you are. If someone doesn't want to know you in the world, if someone wants to bully you in the world, if someone wants to take the piss out of you in the world, they all them sort of people because they won't get anywhere. And you get people in the world that drag you down, make you ill, thinking you're ill, when they're ill themselves. I mean, I've seen it all before. I know. You can just tell by people. You know, not everyone's bad in the world, I understand that. But what I'm saying in this video is, some people have to have their medicines to make them feel well. If they don't, they go crazy, they go off the rails. I'm not a crazy person, but I know... If I get pushed, I can get angry like anyone. But anyway, what do you guys and girls think about this video? I hope you all enjoyed it. I better go for now. Thank you for listening to me. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.